What's going on everybody? Tone's back. Got a little something for you today. Sorry about the noise. I'm here on my lunch break and uh, got some machines running over there somewhere. But uh, got some things to show you real quick. Uh, some One thing that I've been looking for and one thing that I actually made, which I showed on Phil's Everything Spicy's live stream last night. Anyway, got a new Slim Jim, the Hot AF. Uh, I'm not going to go through the ingredients because, uh, you know, a lot of my buddies online have done it already. But we're going to see if there's any actual pepper or powder. Uh, about halfway through it, there is habanero pepper powder, paprika, and extract of paprika. So that's pretty much where our heat source is from. It's habaneros. We're going to give this a little sample. And a while back ago, there was a Slim Jim, I think it was called Dare. And those things were actually quite warm. It smells like a Slim Jim. Tastes like a Slim Jim. <clears throat> I'm picking up a tiny bit of uh, heat on this one. It's uh, somewhere in the one area. Now, I did have one of these earlier. And by the time I got through the whole thing, it probably got me up to about a two. I didn't get any nose run or anything up here, but it was pretty good. But we're going to do something a little fun today. I've got a tincture that I made, and it's called Malevolent Spectre. Because it's a angry little ghost pepper tincture, and I made it from the ghost peppers that I grew. And... Uh, dehydrated them, powdered them, and uh, put them in a quart jar, filled them full of the modicum, I guess that's what they call it. I'm not going to tell you what it is, uh, but I also added some craisins or cranberries for flavor and uh, cinnamon, a few other things. And it's considerably hotter than the blue tinctures that I made a while back ago. But in for, to save a little bit of time, I put about a half, this is a two ounce bottle. I messed up when I was ordering my bottles and I should have got uh, ones, but it just didn't happen that way. I didn't catch it, but you can see that on there. That definitely kicked it up a notch. I did have a little bit of a scare earlier because I took some of the tincture, put it in a spoon. Because this stuff right here, I can only handle a few drops at a time. And so I'm just working my way up. You know, one drop, three drops, five drops. And I put 10 drops on a spoon earlier. This one. And I put it in my mouth and I'm and I try to flip it over but what happened is I flipped it over and it all most of it went right here so I was hoping I didn't get a chemical burn but heat wise it took this from a, a one to about a two Like I said, sorry about the noise. We got some machines running. I wanted to do this kind of in this raw setting because, you know, this is what I do. I 
I'll probably maybe upload this tonight when I get home. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, I've got some sauces that I've I made, and I'm actually running quite low on some of them because I've only got enough space and equipment to do six cups worth of sauce. And I made several with uh, some peppers that I bought locally, which I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, I had a bad experience this last time. Uh, bought some Reapers from Pucker Butt, which turned out awesome for the sauces that I put them in, but found out I had to use them up right away. Started getting some seed rot, not their fault. It's just how I had them stored. Uh, next sauce I make is going to be similar to the uh, kind of a, a cross between my exit wound which I haven't really featured on here and the uh, triple dog sauce and the triple dog the idea behind it was uh, you know I had th three peppers in it and it, wanted, it was kind of a dare sauce because you know I got the, the whole triple dog dare kind of thing and I was told I might be wrong on that because I know there's a double dog but I'm not sure about a triple but if there's not I just made it up put it on a sauce deal with it dare you to try some but anyway I've got I've only got a couple of bottles of it left uh, there's been some people already making some reviews of it I've got a couple out I might have a couple out now I don't, I don't remember right off the top of my head but I've got some other sauces that are in the process of uh, being reviewed hopefully I've got one in the process of bottling right now. I've actually got to order more bottles. It's a uh, peach sauce, peach, um, reaper, a few other things. And I'm still trying to figure out labels. Is uh, I just bought some clear printable labels, but the ink does not stick, uh, especially in a humid setting. So I, I'm going to try some clear coat spray, see how that helps. But uh, the Trouble in Paradise sauce has been doing really well, uh, being really well received by everybody who tries it and buys it. And I finally wrote down every little detail of what I put in it so I can duplicate it when I get more peppers. We're just going to sit and chat until I finish this. But yeah, I'm having a good time being part of the, the community. Uh, getting to learn how to make stuff. Because, you know, I work with my hands. Uh, just found out a friend of mine watched uh, my video on the bites and decided he wanted to try them. So, that's what it's about. I've got a couple of the... the uh, tinctures sent out I'm not like I said with the problem with the bottles I'm not sending a whole lot of that out right now and I am not claiming that this is going to be the hottest tincture that you'll find anywhere But it is the hottest thing that I've made so far. I'd say we probably got about 
20 drops left in there. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, this stuff coats pretty much everything that, that you put it on. <clears throat> it's very pepper forward. Ooh. It's got a nice sting to it. <clears throat> and that's probably all I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do for right now. Because I went through a lot of that already. It's given me a good lip burn, lots of tongue burn. Granted, it's probably not the best tasting tincture, but it does what it's supposed to do. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my lunch break and see about getting this uploaded. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.